This guy's got some problems. He's got some digestive problems. And you're gonna tell me it's an alien or something. Come on, flip Oh, and it's a bit uh, X-rated. So recently we got the elders try the Szechuan sauce from McDonald's. Oh yeah, and I wasn't that crazy about that. The sauce was released thanks to the television show called Rick and Morty. Right, I, I did watch it finally. It was really funny. After that episode, the fans all really wanted to see the elders react to the show itself. Oh. So that's what we're gonna do today. Oh, okay. I don't know what the show contains. It's gonna be a new adventure. Morty, just sit down and eat with us. No, this isn't real life. It's just another one of Rick's stupid promo commercials. Typical family. Eating. Will you please explain to Morty that this isn't a promo commercial and that we're trying to have a nice family Sounds like a dinner together. Can't updated version of the uh, Simpsons. We're inside a uh, promo commercial right now. What? I love the what character voices. About? What the hell is a promo commercial anyway? It's a disposable advertisement. It's meaningless. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. He's it's such a brand. It's gonna misrepresent the show. Show. Beth, Summer, do something! They're not gonna help you, Jerry, because... Oh Damn! Oh Ouch! No. They were just aliens <laughs> trying, to, trying to catch me and Morty because guess why? We're we're a couple of intergalactic criminals! No. He's the funniest no. one. What's the show about anyway? Oh, it's just a crazy... Uh, this guy's got some problems. Morty. He's got some oh, digestive problems. Stuff. All kinds of wild stuff happens each week. Sounds like our show. All kinds of wild stuff happens. It's a commercial, I guess, I'm watching. It's like, you know, a show within a show. It's sort of like The Simpsons, traditional families that aren't really so traditional. I don't watch cartoons much anymore, so I liked it, which doesn't happen too often. Where are you? On my workbench, Morty. Are you invisible and you're gonna, like, fart on me? Flip the oh pickle over. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna touch it and you're gonna flip the pickle over. What? I'm gonna touch it and you're gonna tell me it's an alien or something. Oh, jeez. Flip jeez. the pickle, Morty. <laughs> you're not this gonna is it. funny. And you're gonna tell me it's an alien <laughs> or something. Come on, flip oh, the pickle, Oh, and it's a Morty. bit, uh, X-rated. The payoff is huge. I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Why? I turned myself into a pickle, Morty! Boom! Fascinating. I turned myself into a pickle! <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> I like what he, th he thought was an alien, you know. <laughs> alien penis. A lot of these uh, shows are written for 10 to 12 year old boys. This is actually more for adults. <laughs> No, I don't know any adults who would watch this. Good writing, it sticks around, no matter what the genre is. And these guys seem to be very clever. Bad dog! Bad! Morty, come on, I need your help tonight. Hey! Here wait, we go. Hold on a second, Rick. You wouldn't by any chance have some sort of crazy science thing you could whip up that might help make this dog a little smarter? All right, Ruffles, what's his Leave name? the dog Ruffles. alone. <laughs> Shake. Roll over. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> this is cute. Go to the bathroom. No. No way. No <laughs> That's way. That's funny. Whoa, hey, buddy. Uh oh, what you got going there's on Snuffles. There? Snuffles fix. Wow, that's just pretty futuristic. Humans understand Snuffles now? That is awesome. <laughs> Snuffles want to be understood. We've created Snuffles a monster. A robotic dog. Uh oh, oh dear, he's like a transformer. Where are my testicles, Summer? Oh my god. He's gonna be mad at you. That's an intense line of questioning, Snuffles. Do not call me that. <laughs> Snuffles was my slave name. You shall now call me Snowball because my fur is pretty and white. That's funny. The dog getting back for being fixed. Where are my testicles? <laughs> You've been neutered. So many unpleasant images in these things. I wonder why people want to watch them. This is a Meeseeks box. Let me show you how it works. You press this. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. Meeseeks. Oh, that's cute. Mr. Meeseeks. Mr. Meeseeks, open Jerry's stupid mayonnaise jar. Yes, sir. -y. So this is sort of a continuing well theme of this guy wow. being sort and of mad scientist. All done. Wow. And then it stops existing. Oh my god, he exploded. Trust me, they're fine with it. Knock <laughs> yourselves out. Hey there, I'm Mr. Meeseeks. <clears throat> What's his name, Mr. Meeseeks? Mr. Meeseeks, I would like to take two strokes off my golf game. Try again and keep your head down. There's gonna be trouble. I think this is working. Trouble. Let me try something. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look at me. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look <laughs> this is really boring. We are created uh -uh. to serve a singular purpose for which we will <laughs> They're taking over. So the Meeseeks are taking over like every other thing created in every movie. Innocent people are going to die because of me. I wouldn't watch this for two seconds. Straighten your back. I could see how kids would like this because they are more into this kind of thing. Their brains are still fresh. Oh, once they fulfill 
he fulfilled it, so he's gone. It's clever. That goes back to the 2001 A Space Odyssey. That's the first time we saw where technology took over. If you had absolutely nothing to do and you were bored to death, you might watch this. So we got some Simpsons in there now, huh? <laughs> what the Simpsons? You killed the Simpsons, Morty. So he crashed the Simpsons show. Oh, go, go, God, look at the baby one. Calm down, we'll take care of it. Ew! Okay, I want you to take that vial of Simpsons goo and this picture to this address. They'll make us new Simpsons. This is pretty weird. I wonder how the Simpsons felt about this. Rick, I'm back! Wake up! Oh Wake my up. goodness. Give me those. Regenerated them. Oh, it's like invasion of the body snatchers. Hey Morty, little tip. <laughs> Don't clean DNA vials with your spit. Ah! I'd probably watch it because it is funny. I like the creativity. I like the direction it goes. Some smart ideas. Wow, that was totally a waste of time. I'm beyond that. It's an old grumpy old fart who doesn't have any interest in this kind of bullshit. I know that there's creative people behind this, and they're, you know, they they they're probably in a room laughing. They're they're took us is off thinking this is so hilarious, but I, I just don't get it. So Rick and Morty just finished airing its third season on Adult Swim. Yeah. I watch that, I watch Archer sometimes. It just depends on my mood. So the show actually started off as a direct parody of Back to the Future with the main two characters, Rick and Morty, emulating Doc and Marty. Marty, okay. I kept thinking to myself, where do I know these two characters from? I would not have guessed it, but I definitely see how that plays. Not only was it the network's highest rated show. Oh my goodness, you're kidding. But it was also the most watched comedy series for adults ages 18 to 34. I am shocked. I don't consider 18 to 34 that adult. I remember when I was that age, I was a, I was a moron. What do you think it is about this show that makes it so popular? Uh, well, I don't know. It's not clever. It's not intelligent. It's funny. They do a lot of weird stuff that didn't, you know, kind of cracks you up. Maybe the theme, if it's a takeoff on feature film themes, talking about outer space. Something different and it's not, you know, it's not a cutie cartoon and it's just full of weird characters. The crazy you know, inventions that he has, that's, that's the fun part because you never know what is gonna do. The fan base for Rick and Morty has always been very vocal about the show. As we mentioned, their fans were arguably the primary reason McDonald's started serving one of their sauces. In your experience, have TV show fan bases always been this active and vocal about a show outside of just watching it, or is it more of a recent development? I, I think this is probably more of a recent development with adult cartoons. There is uh, something in them. They do have messages. It sounds more like a recent development. It's not like anything in the past. No, it's always been like that. I Love Lucy, 1950s. People were insane for that show. There were a lot of people very active writing letters to the station and this now. Star Trek's my first memory of people like doing, well, we had to write letters back then, handwritten letters back then, and we did it, and we saved Star Trek. They've always had different types of fan bases for different types of shows. There's always been this cult following for any successful or outrageous or new Entertainment. So finally, Rick and Morty has recently been in the news again since as a release of this episode, the show has not been renewed for its fourth season as many people anticipated it would be. From what you've seen today, do you hope the show will be renewed for season four? Well, renew it and announce it, Adult Swim. Come on. I would like to see it. I think it's interesting. I think if it isn't renewed, somebody will pick it up. I could care less. I don't give a damn if it's renewed or not. I hope it will. It's so fun. After a long day, you love to just sit back and laugh. It should. I think that it's funny and it's creative. Good riddance. May it rest in peace. It's interesting, and I think uh, they should give it another chance. They enjoy it. I, why not? I would hope that would make people happy. It should be. I think it's clever. It's creative. It's, you know, it's silly. It's got, you know, all the, all the elements. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Elders React. Subscribe and shout out to Squiggly Doodle and Victoria Boss. Please let us know in the comments what we should react to next. Now, if you'd excuse me, I gotta go get Shrifty. Hey guys, Ethan here from FBE. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Elders React. What do you think the Elders should react to next time? Let us know in the comments. Well, beloved, dum-dum!